Now we go to lesson four, receiving the pitch. Okay, so we were, we're working on receiving the pitch. Now, what happens when the pitcher goes into his windup? He gets to his break point, what's gonna happen? Well, you've given the signal already and you're in your stance ready to receive the ball. You've given your target, all right? And once we talked about in the pitching tape, once the pitcher gets to his break point, that's when a catcher tries to relax his hand to get ready to catch the ball. And the way I try to do it, once he gets to that break point, the pitcher has already picked up his target to throw home. So what we do as a catcher, we call it, you just make a little half turn with your glove right here. You just, it looks just like this. It's not much movement, it's just with your wrist. All right, a lot of kids might try to do it, it might move their hand. It's not much movement. What it looks like, with bare hand, this is where I'm giving my target. And when you turn, you just turn your hand right here. And it looks like if someone stuck a can of Coke in my hand, or a can of soft drink, you know, I'm sitting there just drinking out of it. So once we get to there, it's just a little turn. All that does is it relaxes you. All right, and once you get to that point, it's just a little turn, you just turn it right here to that break point. And when the pitch is coming, depending on where the pitch is, you can catch it wherever it is. So if it's on this side, you just catch the ball right here. All right, and if you're turning, you just move your glove over here and catch it on this side. So a lot of young catchers, they're just keep the glove right here. And what happens, if you get a good pitcher on the mound who throws real hard and has got good movement on his fastball, you know, it's tough for them to catch a ball in here. A lot of times they get handcuffed right here. And, they're, and they keep the glove out here too long, a lot of times their hands start getting tired and it gets stiff and it gets really heavy. So to keep yourself loose, you just do that little turn where at that break point you just turn it where you can just, it's a little timing mechanism where you can just catch the ball on either side of the plate. Watch as Eddie's hand becomes relaxed just as the pitcher releases the ball. All right, now that we've, we've found out what we want to do with our relax our hand, some people say we've got to frame a pitch give our umpire an extra chance to really look at it, help our pitcher out. What are we going to do in terms of framing the pitches? Let's say the pitch is inside. We make our turn with our hand and our wrist, and we get that pitch right in there, and we're going to try to draw it back just a little bit. How about a low pitch? We turned our hand. We're going to try to get up underneath it and pull it in just slightly to show the umpire. And on the outside pitch, we turn our hand, we're going to move our body just a little bit, pull the ball, uh, the glove in just slightly, back into the middle of our body, and it looks good. Last one would be our high pitch. Right in there. Remember, everything is a short move, fluid movement in back into the middle of the body. In lesson four, we learned the wrist relaxes at the pitcher's break point and goes into a position similar to holding a can of soda. This allows free movement of the wrist to all types of pitches and enables us to frame the ball.